Did you know that there's a solar eclipse on April 8th, 2024? Not only that, but it'll be visible from Quebec. So might as well take a look at a couple techniques that might help us observe the eclipse safely. Firstly, do you think it's a good idea to observe the sun directly with the naked eye? No, hey, no, no, it's far too dangerous. You see, the sun is far too bright. It might burn out your eyes. It could cause irreversible damage, so never look at the sun directly. Now, the eclipse doesn't make looking at the sun any more dangerous than it typically is. It's never a good idea to look at the sun, whether it's partially covered by the moon or not at all, it could still be dangerous. There's one exception, however. The only time you could look towards the sun is during the totality of the eclipse, when the moon completely covers the sun. It's safe because, well, the sun is gone, right? It's completely covered by the moon. How long is the totality gonna last? Well, it really depends on where you're located from a couple seconds to around three minutes. Okay, now that's out of the way. Let's look at a couple objects that might help us look at the eclipse. Let's start with a classic. Let's start with some good old sunglasses. Hmm. Can we use sunglasses to observe the eclipse? Let's have a look here. I'm gonna put these on and have a look. Is that a safe way to observe? I hate to break it to you, but absolutely not. No, 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 no. Sure, I look super cool, but this is of no use to us on April 8th. You see, sunglasses are not good enough. They don't block enough of the sun's light. It could still burn my eyes out. So these, if you got a pair of these, throw these in the garbage on April 8th. No use to us. Another object here. Interesting, quite similar to the sunglasses, but slightly different solar eclipse glasses. Ah, okay. If I put these on right here, just like that, and I look towards the eclipse, are these, is this a safe way to observe? Absolutely, yes, totally. It's in the name, right? They're called solar eclipse glasses. You see, I don't know if you noticed, there's a little material on these glasses. It's a solar filter. There you go. It blocks almost all of the light around me. See, if I put these back on and I look around, well, I could see absolutely nothing. It's, it's total darkness. But if I look towards the sun, ah, I could see a little dot. It blocks all of the dangerous light from the sun, making it safe for me to observe. So solar eclipse glasses, absolutely, that's what they're made for. Let's try another object here. Oh, a little curveball. Interesting. Hmm. A piece of paper. Huh, can we use paper to observe the eclipse? Absolutely, we totally can, yeah. But wait, 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 it's really gonna depend on the way that you use it, okay? Be careful, you see, if you just roll up a piece of paper like that and look towards the sun, is that safe? No, absolutely not. It's still looking directly at the sun. That's no good, not at all. If I put the piece of paper on top of my head like that and I look towards the sun, is that gonna protect me? Ha, huh. absolutely not, no, but look at that. I don't know if you noticed, but I poked a little hole into my piece of paper, yeah. Little hole, there you go. It's an indirect way to observe the eclipse. And I'll show you how to use it. Very important, back to the sun. Keep that in mind, always back to the sun, okay? Hold your piece of paper out in front of you just like that. The sun's light will enter through that little hole that I made and it'll project the event of the eclipse onto a ground or onto another piece of paper. It's an indirect way, perfectly safe, not directly like that. Remember, always back to the sun. Perfectly useful pieces of paper, pieces of cardboard, pork little holes in them. Try it out on April 8th. Another object here. Okay, interesting. Hmm. A strainer. A strainer for pasta, you know, spaghetti, macaroni, all that good stuff. Is this useful for us on April 8th? Yes, it totally is. Yeah, it could totally be used. I know it sounds surprising, but it's just like the piece of paper. I don't know if you noticed, there's a bunch of little holes. Little holes in our strainer here. Another indirect way. Remember, always back to the sun. Back to the sun. Hold the strainer in front of you just like that. The sun's light is going to enter through the strainer and it'll project a bunch of little eclipses on the ground. It's beautiful. So if you got one of these, bring them out on April 8th. They're wonderful for observing eclipses. Look at that. Next object here. Oh, interesting. Hmm. A mirror. We use mirrors to observe eclipses safely? No, 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 absolutely not. It's not safe at all. You see, there's no solar filters or anything for a mirror. Even if I put my back to the sun, held it out in front of me, you see the sun's light is gonna reflect directly off the mirror, directly into my eyes. And that could still be dangerous. It's far too direct. This is not an indirect method. It's dangerous. If you got some mirrors, once again, throw that in the garbage. Huh, no use to us. 
Okay. One last object here. Interesting. Cereal boxes. Huh. Can we use cereal boxes to observe eclipses safely? What? Yeah, we totally can. Yeah, yeah, we totally can. By the way, it's going to take a little bit of work. All right. First step, first step, eat the cereal. Right? It's no use to us if it's full of cereal. And this is my favorite part of the whole thing. I love me some cereal. There you go. Once there's some more cereal, you have to do a little bit of DIY, a little bit of craftsmanship here. I don't know if you noticed, but I've cut some holes. I've cut a hole on this side of the box and another one on this side, just like that. But on this side, this hole, I've covered it with aluminum foil. And in that aluminum foil, I've actually poked a little hole in the foil. Okay? So how to use the box? It's just like the piece of paper. Back to the sun. Back to the sun. And not only that, inside my box, I put a piece of paper on the inside to project the eclipse onto. Okay, so how to use it? The sun's light is going to enter through the little hole I've pierced in the aluminum foil. It'll project the eclipse on the piece of paper. If I look through my box just like that, oh, beautiful, a nice eclipse projected in my box. Perfect. Look at that. A little bit of DIY, a little box around here. You get some nice snack, nice tasty snack. In the meantime, it's perfect for observing eclipses, cereal boxes, or any box for that matter you got lying around. Do a little bit of work. You got a nice little eclipse box. Look at that. And there you have it. Those are just a couple techniques to help you observe the eclipse. Remember, if you don't have a solar filter, those are the ways that you can look at it directly. Always use indirect methods to observe it. That means pieces of paper or cardboard with holes in it, a strainer, or even an eclipse box. Wonderful. That's everything that you need to know. I wish you a wonderful eclipse on April 8th. I'll see you. Thanks.